Hi guys, this is, um, I don't remember which Vlogtober day is which, um, and I'm also going to share this on my Cheap Easy Low Carb channel as well, but this is for a Vlogtober post um, for um, making something fall or autumn or whatever-ish. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. I've got my oven, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there's a stove got my oven heating up to 350. I've got a large baking dish of water, just about uh, an inch of water, and it's sitting on the vent burner so it can get warm. That is important. So today I'm going to make pumpkin custard. Um, I make a lot of custards because we love it. It uses a lot of nature's perfect foods, which are, of course, eggs. Um, all the protein and the whites and the incredible amount of vitamins and minerals in the yolks. Um, I mean, I think people could probably live on only eggs indefinitely if you could stand it. Um, and yes, I know I should be tapping this on a flat surface, but I have better luck doing it this way, actually. I get more shells in it when I tap it on a flat surface. There we go. Four eggs. No shells. So I'm going to give them a little whip, break the yolks, and just give them a little bit of a... The eggs come pre-measured, otherwise, as I've said many times, I don't measure. I've got a can of coconut milk here, which I shook before I opened it. I'm going to use half a can-ish of coconut milk. Looks like it did separate a little bit, but that's good because that means I got the cream. I will use the rest of that coconut milk tomorrow and the rest of this can, let's see, of pumpkin because tomorrow I'm going to make pumpkin pancakes. So I'll put half a can or so. Well, it looks like two thirds of a can of pumpkin in here as well. It'll take a little bit because I didn't want to get out my electric mixer. I mean, my electric mixer's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that I don't feel like I'm really cooking. I feel like the machine does all the work. So I'd rather do my own thing here. Nice and thick. Um, I put a couple teaspoons full, maybe, of this. Is I made in the other video some. Um, pumpkin pie spice. So I'll put a couple spoonfuls of that in. This stuff is a bear to get in, mixed in always. It makes me... There we go. That wasn't too bad. Salt. You know, I don't care for salty. Half quarter to half a teaspoon is all I want in there. Got to have some salt in everything, but... That's all I want in there. Vanilla. I don't know, maybe that was a teaspoon or two, I don't know. And it's ready to bake. Now, as I said, I have... Oh, no, it's not. almost forgot my sweetener. That would have been disgusting. This is sucralose, powdered sucralose. It's got maltodextrin in it, and it's all just nothing that I'm thrilled about. But, I've got a half a cup here. Past experience has told me that that's just about right. Yeah, that would have been a um, nasty surprise. <laughs> No sweetening in it. There we go. Let me get this stuff out of my way. So, now I've got my pan that has warm water in it because it's been sitting on the um, vent burner. I've got this pan 
that um, I'm just going to, I think I'll just spray it for quick. I usually would use uh, uh, coconut oil, but really I just don't feel like softening it, as I've said before. I keep my house at about 62, so the coconut's always rock hot. Coconut oil is always rock hard. So, my water bowl, my custard bowl, one of the things, and I know I've mentioned this before, but One of the things that kind of makes me nuts on cooking videos is when people don't get all the stuff out of the bowls and they waste all that. <laughs> There's a little... That just kind of makes me nuts. So, and there it is. It's in there and it's ready to go. This will make a rather thick custard if you're looking for a light custard just to crease the pumpkin a little bit and um, increase the milk a little bit, the coconut milk, or you could use almond milk, or you could use cream, or half and half. I mean, this is a pretty forgiving recipe. Um, in fact, it's not even a recipe. I mean, you just really, you know, you got, as long as you have your eggs, your ratio of eggs to liquids at about one to two, um, it's going to come out okay. Um, it's a little more than that, but the pumpkin is nice and thick, so I don't consider that a complete liquid. Anyway, I take my warm, my warm water. It comes right almost, well, I've just got about an inch at the top. I will put these in the middle rack of a 350 oven. It will probably be in there. Oh, I'll keep testing it, but I'm going to guess 45 minutes at the minimum possibly up to an hour. I'll start testing it at 40 minutes, but um, this will be a nice custardy, almost like a pumpkin pie filling, but and it should be great. And I will show it to you when it's done. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here we are. There's the custard. Um, that was from when I put it in the first time, tested it with a knife that wasn't quite done. With custard, you can leave it a little soft and jiggly in the middle. You don't want it liquid, obviously. This is in case you've never made a custard. If you make them a lot like I do, then ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it can be a little softer in the middle. That's not a problem at all because um, it will firm up. Right now, this just came out of the oven. Um, I haven't even pulled it out of the water yet. And um, I'm about to pull it out to let it cool. Um, it is almost midnight, so I want to go ahead and upload this before I spoon it up and everything, but um, I did lick the knife after I tested it, and it's delicious. <laughs> so, um, there you have it. There is the pumpkin custard, and that is my, um, that is my um, contribution for whichever day is baking something for fall. So, um, we'll get back to work here and I'll see if we have all our bases covered and hopefully I'll be able to get all these uploaded before the end of the month. Okay, thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.